Hi there, this is the underrated Bishop D7 line and it's a straightforward trap in the Chigorin variation of the two knights defense. And after E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop C4 and Knight F6 is the two knights defense. The direct approach with Knight G5 hitting F7 uh, means black will almost automatically respond with d5 and after e takes on d5 black shouldn't take knight takes on d5 rather knight a5 is one of the main variations here the chigorin variation the knight's on the rim but it's hitting the bishop on c4 and white can continue with bishop b5 check Black will usually respond with c6, but the move we're looking at now is the highly underrated bishop d7, which poses a good alternative to the c6 main line. White could continue now with queen e2 or bishop takes d7, but after queen e2 and bishop e7, white doesn't really win a pawn here. Bishop takes d7, queen takes d7, queen takes on e5 isn't really that good for white, because black will have the upper hand after knight takes on d5 the queen there in the center is a little bit uncomfortable and if white was just to the castle now then black's gonna have a winning position with the f6 fork of the queen and the knight so rather than queen e2 we're looking now at bishop takes on d7 after queen takes on d7 and now knight c3 Knight takes d5 gets the pawn, and after knight takes d5 and queen takes on d5, black's already here equal, at least. After castles and h6, the knight is driven back to f3, and black long castles. d3 could be met now with e4, which will give black a very strong initiative. Probably slightly inferior is bishop d6, which is developing a piece. And this is where white goes wrong. White could continue with bishop e3 followed by knight c6 if instead b3 is played, presumably wanting to put the bishop on b2. Then it's black who's going to be turning the screws here with e4 because now after d takes on e4, black is winning after queen takes on d1, rook takes on d1, Bishop takes h2 is check, and the rook on d8 is going to take its counterpart on d1. So after king takes on h2, rook takes on d1 is winning here for black. So this has been the underrated bishop d7 line in the Chigorin variation of the two knights defense. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.